Hi, my name is Isaiah in the morning and welcome back to Champions this one. Are you ready for some this one? Like, subscribe, share our video. Now it's time for our lessons. For my two to five year olds, this is your activity sheet and your story title is Jesus Love Zacchaeus. And for my first to third graders, this is your title, not title, this is your activity sheet and you have the same title as our two to five year olds. And my fourth to sixth graders, you have the same title as well. Everybody has the same title, but this is what your activity sheet looks like. All right, friends, grab your stories, grab a seat. Let's get ready for this story time. Everyone wanted to see Jesus, including Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was a tax collector. He collected money that the people owed to the town. People did not like Zacchaeus because he was a tax collector. Zacchaeus was not very tall. He could not see over the crowd of people, so he climbed a tree to see Jesus. Jesus stopped under the tree. He said, Zacchaeus, come down. I want to go to your house today. Zacchaeus quickly climbed down the tree. He was happy that Jesus was going to his house. Jesus taught Zacchaeus many things. Zacchaeus was sorry for the wrong things he had done. He said, I will help the poor people. If I have taken too much money from people, I will give them back all of their money and more. Zacchaeus knew Jesus loved him and wanted to do the right things. Today's story is called Jesus Loved Zacchaeus. Jesus was traveling through Jericho where a man named Zacchaeus lived. Zacchaeus was a chief tax collector and he was very rich. Zacchaeus was in charge of collecting taxes for the Roman government from the Jewish people in Jericho. When Jesus came into town, a large crowd gathered to see him. Zacchaeus wanted to see him too, but Zacchaeus was a short man. He could not see over the crowd. So Zacchaeus ran ahead and climbed into a sycamore tree to watch for Jesus to pass by. When Jesus came by, he looked up into the tree and saw Zacchaeus. Come down, Zacchaeus, Jesus said. I want to stay with you today. Zacchaeus hurried down from the tree. He was happy to welcome Jesus. When people saw what happened, they complained. Zacchaeus is a sinner, they said. And Jesus is going to stay at his house? The people knew that many tax collectors were dishonest and cheated people. They took more money from the people than they should. Zacchaeus told Jesus, I will give half of everything I have to the poor. And if I cheated anyone, I will pay him back four times as much. Jesus said to Zacchaeus, today you have been saved and I have come to seek and to save the lost. All right, friends, welcome back from story time and let's dive right into our crafts. Again, we only have one craft for you. This will be a slightly more detailed craft, craft like last week. Kind of, kind of, we'll see. But since we all talked about Zacchaeus or Jesus loving Zacchaeus, we are going to do a Zacchaeus craft. So what you will need, scissors, glue, green tissue paper, and as you can see, my tissue paper, I'll show this angle, is crumbled. Okay? Now, I didn't cut it small. I ripped them in slightly big pieces. I'll show you one, and you'll see how big. So, yeah, took a few sheets, and all you do is just crumble it. Not fully like a tight crumble like this one. It's not going to work. Keep it kind of wide. Uh, brown construction paper. And then, of course, as you can see, this is a handprint. So you're going to trace. And you're going to go further, that, further down past the palm. You're going to go down past the wrist. About here. Trace there. And I have blue construction paper. Because we are building Zacchaeus in a tree. That's the craft. You want to use blue, but if they want to choose another color, don't restrict them. That is totally fine. As long as they know Zacchaeus was in a tree and Jesus noticed him out of the whole entire crowd. 
and wanted to fellowship and talk to him because he loved him. So, one last thing before I forget, we have Zacchaeus. This will be included in your description box. And I already have my pre-cut and pre-colored version right here. And we are going to get started. Let's move some things out the way. Get started. Get started. All right. Song is done. So, oh, yeah, I said glue. Yeah. And, of course, colored pencils or crayons or markers. If you want to paint, go ahead down. You could go down that road, but uh, we're going to stick to crayons for today. So we're going to glue our hand first. And our hand will represent the tree and branches, the bark and branches. So you can see, I'm just going to glue the fingers down and make sure everything is covered with some glue. After, we're going to turn this over. It doesn't matter which hand you use. Um, that is totally fine. It's totally up to you. And of course, we're not looking for perfection. One more thing I actually forgot because we'll do this after. And actually, you could do this now if you want to before you glue. But if you didn't, that's totally fine. Uh, we're going to write... Jesus loved Zacchaeus. So I'll do that after I put everything else on. Now, this image is kind of big, but it will still work. I should have made it smaller, but if you can make it smaller, I know it's going to be sent as a link, so you may not. But if you know how, you can make it smaller. But if you don't want to go through the struggle, that is totally fine. So now we're going to take the glue. And we're going to kind of draw circles around the fingerprints, the fingers, and above the fingers. And this is where we're going to place our green tissue paper. Now, if you don't have a green tissue paper, green construction paper, nice chunky pieces. You can crumble that up too, so it can kind of pop. And all you're going to do is have your child place it on. Now, like I said, don't make it so tight and compact because then you'll need a lot more tissue paper and have a lot more space to cover. If you want, if they want to do it that way and you have the tissue paper, go right for it. But you see how nice and big it looks? It kind of makes the tree pop. And at one point, we're going to actually fit Zacchaeus. I know where we're going to put him. But yes. I'm going to add the tissue paper. I think I'm going to add some glue on top of that one. And put one on top. To make it pop a little bit more. Yeah, I like that. Almost there. Now I have some empty spaces. So I'm going to fill that in. Just adding more glue. And filling in the empty space slightly because we still need to add Zacchaeus. Pat that in there. One good thing this is nice and wide so it could spread a little bit. But let's show this part so far. We have our tree. You see? And it's a nice 3D textured craft. So that's one thing with school, especially for my two to five year olds. Uh, they want to, you to feel your craft is not just one dimensional, but this is a nice 3D pop off the paper kind of craft that would be, it would really bring the craft to life. I always say that, bring it to life, but yeah, they need to see it. Now we're going to add Mr. Zacchaeus. I'm going to put some glue behind. I'm not going to slather him with glue, just on the important parts. And let's find a space for him. Oh, I also, it comes as a sheet, so I did color first, and then I cut out Zacchaeus. So they has, there's branches, if you want to keep the part right here, they had branches, I, leaves and branches. I cut that off, because I already have this big tree here. If you want to keep that, that's totally fine. Um, there's a tree that goes all the way up on this end of him. If you want to keep that as well, that's fine. I cut it down because I have this nice big tree. 
and a nice big Zacchaeus. All right, I'm gonna press him down. And if you want, just to be a little cute with it, you have an empty space up here. Let's fill in that space. And then we can have little leaves that fell down. Now, because I didn't write, I'm going to write it over, write my title on this side. So I'm not going to put any leaves here as yet. So what I'm going to do is fill in this space up here. Sorry. Fill in that space. I could do a little bit more. Sorry. I'm really going to fill in the gaps. And there's a little bit over here. Okay. I don't know if you can even see. So because I'm running out of big pieces, I'm going to rip that, flatten it again. I don't need so much for this corner in right there. Same thing over here. Just enough coverage. And now, I'm going to take some more pieces, open it up. I'm going to make it smaller. Rip it up. I'm going to try to do this really fast. The glue is on my finger. It's stuck. And we're going to flatten it some more and add some leaves down below. Can move the glue around. If you don't want to do this, you don't have to. But because Zacchaeus climbed the tree, some leaves fell. It's logical. Now we're going to add our title. So we're going to say Jesus. Can you see, camera woman? Jesus loved Zacchaeus okay you can take this a step further and get an image of Jesus and instead of where I put the leaves you can have them color Jesus cut him out and glue him right there on the side so you can alternate and build with this craft and it still could tell the story of Zacchaeus and Jesus and I'll just put my name but have fun with this be creative you know and let's show the final product here is Zacchaeus in the tree I really like the tissue paper because it really brings <laughs> the tree to life Construction paper is nice, but I don't think it would have done it. But this really adds a nice texture. Alright, friends. Like I said, you can write first, then paste everything on. If you forgot, that's okay. Make sure you save a spot to write if you want to. You can also add Jesus instead of leaves right here. And you can make your Zacchaeus smaller if you want to. But I like the big size. It's kind of cute. And that is it for our one and only craft <laughs> all right friends please have fun with this craft I hope it helps them the story stick and bring the story to life for them and uh, yeah don't forget to follow us on Facebook and YouTube at the triumphant church of God you can also follow us on Instagram at triumphant.youth tag us post pictures on our page can't really do much with you but YouTube but what you can do with YouTube is click that bell and that subscription button so you are updated for everything that we do for kids corner and our Sunday services and I hope you guys had a blessed week I hope you're gonna prepare for this new week coming up hang in there guys I know this time is tough and rough but God is for us and who can be against us all right till next week see you bye